RPG. All right, Israel, peace and blessings. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Okay. So let's turn to John 7. The topic we'll get into is marvel not if the world hates you. Okay. So pretty much is a good topic pertaining to worldliness. Okay. So this world here is wicked. And it promotes grudging. Hatred, envy, covetousness, malice, bitterness, <clears throat> murder. See, so as the children of God, the children of Israel, we have to repent as a people and separate ourselves from worldliness. Okay, so we had John 7. John the seventh chapter, we start about the first verse. So, marvel not if the world hates you. That's the topic. This is John 7 and 1. All right. It says, after these things, Yahweh shall have walked in Galilee. So at this time, you got the Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. Hawashai, he's up in northern Israel, in Galilee. For he would not walk in Jewry. See, when they say, for he would not walk in Jewry, mean he wouldn't walk in Judea at this time. Because the Jews sought to kill him. You see that? Because the Jews sought to, what, kill him. So we see here, even though Christ performed many miracles, he give sight to the blind. You see, he he he'll uh, raise he would raise the dead, heal the sick, even if it came to the Sabbath, because there's no sin against that. Christ was completely, completely, excuse me, in order with the Most High. Right. Christ was about the Most High's commandments. Mm -hmm. You see, but in that. You have many Israelites who hated Christ. Many Israelites wouldn't believe that Jesus of Nazareth would be the Messiah. You understand? So you would think that Israelites with the Bible who confessed that they loved God, they knew God, why would they hate the Son of God to the point they're seeking to kill him? That's some hatred right there, right? right. They're seeking to kill him. They got spirits on. <laughs> so who you think at work? Satan. Satan. You see? Because these same Israelites that are seeking to kill the Christ, they got the same spirit that Cain had on him when he murdered Abel, his brother. You see? So we'll get some of these scriptures. So he will Christ wouldn't walk in jury or Judea because the Jews, I mean those of the circumcision, sought to kill him. Y'all see that? So, as Christ suffered, we're going to suffer as the believers in Christ. We're going to go through persecution. Some of us be worse than others. But you believe in me, we're going to follow the Christ, we're going to go through it. Now, why did I say some of us will go through persecution worse than others? Because when you read the scriptures, look at Moses, what he went through. It was different from the rest of Israel. 
You look at the prophets. You see what they went through amongst the wicked of Israel to be different. Look at Christ. Look at the apostles. So why would Moses and the apostles, Jeremiah, why would they suffer worse than others? You see, why would that happen? Yeah, how would I? Those men in particular would be charged with teaching Israel. So Israel got a problem with the Heavenly Father. And so these men being sent by God they would take on that persecution because Israel can't persecute the Most High. So it comes to the apostles, prophets, teachers. You see? So it would be it, it, different levels of suffering. Especially when the Lord have you as the face of something. You see, in the Israel, they, they, you know, our people being wicked, right. they on the attack. Because what? The Lord have you speaking against, teaching against worldliness. And to the wicked, they ain't gonna like that. I think I have a lot to say. You see, but don't they don't get it mistaken because the hate that they have for the Most High in Christ and towards those that preach in His name is gonna come your way. <laughs> you gonna feel that hatred, just like the hatred that David, I mean, that Saul had for David. And, and, and David was telling Jonathan, Saul's son, said, listen, they was tight. They both feared God. He said, your father's seeking to kill me. Jonathan like, nah, my father love you. He don't hate you. Mm. Until it came his way, right? By his own father. <laughs> See, and then Jonathan like, oh, wow. See? So you 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 have Israel come throughout the body of Christ. The scriptures go out against worldliness. How worldliness bring division, and they twitching, and eventually they, they persecuting the righteous, and they leave and still be having the hatred. And they act is, is that they ain't done nothing wrong. <laughs> They're the most lovingest people, but guess what? They be into witchcraft. And the celebration of birthdays and all this other stuff. Daughter in pants. That's just the love of God. They 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 plant seeds, negative seeds on the side, right? Soon they run it to you. They got something to say. Be pissed off. <laughs> Filled with anger, right? Bitterness, grudging. They'll slander you. They'll be dealing with malice. They want the church to fall. <laughs> so they can say, see, we was never the problem, but they're in the world. How you going to serve God out there and you wasn't really doing it in here? So that's what we're saying. We're saying that Christ, he going through the hatred. To the point you got Israelites that know they Israelites looking to kill them. These ones profess, profess that they knew God. They got scriptures. So just to think about the ones we were amongst, the, we Israel. They got scriptures. They say they be in the water of baptism. Give it some time. You see that iron, that shiny. And that rust come out. <laughs> it's a matter of time. That's why the scriptures say, prove a friend. Are we about these commandments in sincerity? Not the outward, that's fine, but we gotta get that inward together, right? Right. So this heavy. So let's read. It says, John 7 and 2. Now the Jews feast. Of tabernacles was at hand. Right, so now you got a high holy day coming in. The Feast of Tabernacles, which falls in the seventh month on the 15th day. So we see in here that Israel was, would keep the feast days, 
But many of them will keep the feet but have hate for the Son of God. You see? So we seen some of that. <laughs> keep feasts with brothers, sisters, and in many of them grudging. Filled with bitterness, malice, hatred, right? So let's read. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. See, so they, his brethren, they had his motive. Look, they tell him, Jesus Nazareth, look, depart from here, Galilee, and go into Judea, that thy disciple may see the works that thou doest. You see that? Go to Judea and perform the mighty works there so your disciples can see. Now we know Christ ain't about vainglory, notoriety. He ain't about that. You see? So this Satan. Okay, read on. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, Show thyself to the world. See that? So they said, they said, there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. Make a name for yourself. Go to Judea and show thyself to the what? World, meaning the rest of Israel. Why are they saying this? Read on. For neither did his brethren believe in him. You see that? So Christ's immediate family at this time didn't think that he was the what? The Christ. The Christ, the Messiah. Now, you just got to think. Say, hmm. If he's the firstborn out of his brethren, his sisters, right? Right. <laughs> Wouldn't Mary and Joseph tell the siblings you know he was born different from y'all. Joseph, y'all father didn't get me pregnant. The Holy Spirit got me pregnant. Wouldn't they be like, that God, he got to be special because another child born like. So why didn't they say that? Because that never happened. <laughs> you see? But we so caught up in the world and the world's philosophy, virgin birth. The deity of the Messiah, he had to be born another way, different from you and I. That's a lie. That's being taught to our people by the devil. Because Satan is the father of lies. Tell us that in John 8. So we're dealing with lying, lies, false doctrines, devil doctrines. That's why we say devil doctrines because they of the devil. You see? So all praises... Us as the believers, the Lord give us eyes to see, ears to hear. Say, huh. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Read on. It says, Then Yahweh said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. See? So Christ couldn't go to Judea as they wanted him to go like that. Because he already going through the heat. He already going through the hatred. You see? They at a different stage. <laughs> Christ going through it. And he knew eventually he would die. Through envy, covetousness, malice. See that? He would die right before the Passover. So let's read. It says, the world cannot hate you. So let's check out what Christ said. The world cannot hate you. So why was they, these Israelite cities, Jews, seeking to kill Christ? That's right. We got the answer. They hate him. But what did he do wrong? That they got so much hatred for him. 
He about to answer. He didn't do anything wrong. Right. The world cannot hate you. But me it hated. But me it hated. Why? Because I testify of it. That the works thereof are evil. See? So why would many Israelites hate him? Because they was evil. Right. Right. He would speak and teach against the worldliness. He would come with the doctrine that originates with the Father. He tells us that in this chapter. So the Most High is against worldliness when it comes to his people, right or wrong. So Christ will bring forth them scriptures and correct. <laughs> right? Because remember, he's the face for the Most High, right? He's the Most High's messenger, the Most High's beloved son. He going to speak whatever the Most High tell him to speak. Then he ain't going to bend scripture. He just going to let it rip, the word rip, you see? And he knew it would suffer for it. Y'all see that? So that's why we say men in position or officers, got to do their job. <laughs> there is no, you know what, I don't want I don't want all the people to like me. It, it's, it is what it is. It's really going to love you or hate you. That's how it's going to be. We either going to be worldly and it's going to come out and we're going to have that hate for one another or we're going to be separating ourselves from the worldliness and we're going to jail. That's how the believers going to get down. There ain't going to be all this funny business. Well, I got corrected. The scriptures came. I didn't like that class. It's murmuring on the side and then building a team. And that ain't going to work. It never has. Only lasts for so long, right? And you'll be seeing it go down like, dang, they can't see what's happening. Hatred is blinding. <laughs> It's going down. Have you ever stepped in a room and you just, you could tell with people that just don't like you? Oh, my God. That would have been a night. Be acting funny, all this other stuff. See? Kitchen. But then you still got to do your job. Let's say you supervise y'all. You know they pissed off because you're doing your job. But you still got to go in there and do the job, right? <laughs> That's what happens, Israel. Christ still had to do his job. And correct and love, right? Because he loved the people. But many Israelites hated him to the point they seeking to kill him. That's heavy right there. Why they sought to kill him? Because he testified that how that the works of the world are evil. See, he had them commandments of the most high. Showing with Israel breaking commandments. Because what's evil when we go against the many commandments of the Most High? You see? Many of these Israelites had their own doctrines, following traditions of men. In their eyes, they thinking that Jesus of Nazareth is breaking the Sabbath, according to them. When he's telling them, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath, they twist up his words. Slander the brother. We're going to get these scriptures, Israel. Because we want to make sure we as the believers not doing none of this stuff. And if we feel a certain type of way, we got to repent. Apply the scriptures one toward another. So now let's get John 15. John 15, some good scriptures. And we'll start about the 17th verse. So now, what feast y'all think that's at hand now? Because it's coming around to the, to the where it's at, past that new year, right? Absolutely. Right. Passover coming. This the day Christ 
going to be put to death because of the hatred. You understand? So chapter 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, chapter, all that's, it's nighttime, it's the 14th day. It's the preparation of Passover. Remember, he's the sacrificial lamb. Right? So now what Christ going to do, he's going to prepare his disciples for the hatred that they will receive for following him. Because once he would die, be buried in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights, resurrect, and eventually send back to the Father, who's the face now? Who would be the face for the Most High Christ? Apostles. The apostles. <laughs> so they ain't going to have to go through it. Why I say, now come to serve the Lord. Prepare thy soul for temptation. That's what he's doing with them. That's what we're going to read about. So you want to write that down so you will know, okay, Christ preparing his disciples for the hatred to come because it's swinging their way. It's going to swing their way. So this is John 15, 17. These things I command you. So Christ said, these things I command you. Starting with his apostles, his disciples. This is a commandment, Israel. That's coming from who? Christ. But ultimately from the Father. So what's the commandment? That ye love one another. You see? So among the disciples and the believers, they couldn't grudge one toward another. They couldn't be covetous. You see, they couldn't be filled with malice. Bitter. You see what I'm saying? To the point they laying hands on each other. They couldn't envy one another. You see? Why, why uh, Paul get to go here or John go here, but I can't. I'm Peter. Why? They couldn't be doing all that stuff. <laughs> Neither should we as the believers. You see? So we can't be, we, we got to move according to Christ's commandment. We to love one another. Can I be jealous over little Phil? Okay, he got blessed with a job. Um, why not me? Could Peter, James, and John be like that? Okay, Peter's married, I'm not. So now let me hate on Peter's marriage. Could they be like that? <laughs> you see the examples we got in the scriptures? You say, wait, these brothers and sisters say they of God. They leave and be acting this way. How, how's that? If there was an offense, Christ said, go speak to your brother and sister one-on-one. -on -one. And they would not hear you, hear you get witnesses. I don't want to do that. What does that tell you? <laughs> See? Because if you write in Christ, you're going to be like, you know what? Do what Christ said. Do it. We go through the process. It is what it is. I trust in the Lord. The Lord is going to be with it and work, the, work through it. Well, the Lord said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, the power and authority, there I am in the midst of them. Mm. As the spirit, the comforter, right? <laughs> so these men, they couldn't have the spirit of Cain. Home. These things I command you, that you love one another. Now, would Satan try to come between Peter, James, John, Paul? Absolutely. Of course. That's a given. That's a given. Because Satan don't want us to love each other. He don't. He wouldn't want Peter.
to love Paul and James and John. We want to get in between that. So with us, we, we have to shut Satan down. No, Satan, Christ commanded us to love one another. Okay, you, how would I offended me? It was an actual offense, scripturally, not me making up something. <laughs> no, it was real good at that. I'm hurt. Hurt for what? Because I got corrected. I didn't like how he corrected me in the scripture. So now I'm pissed. I'm hurt. Let me go deal with him. Well, if it's an offense, a break it out of scriptures, we rap. And then, my bad, brother. We keep it pushing, right? Because <laughs> Satan going to look to come in our homes, divide families, husband, wife. He ain't trying to have where we love. That love is there scripturally. You see, because love have many facets. You know what I'm saying? You got you have it. It really be like much love, homie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if I try, try to rob you, bro. Right. <laughs> I'm much love in the hood. Are you serious? That's a lie right there. Y'all much love in the hood when it's gang banging going on and drug dealing, man, and slander and bearing false witness. Right. Cats right up the block and came to, came to your house. And, and stole your PlayStation. Right. <laughs> you know, right up the street, man. Mm. And he robbed your grandma. Please. Much love in the hood. So it's different facets of love. Right. You see. So we know love is the keeping of the commandments. Apply the scriptures. Might correct. That's love. You see. These things I command you that you love one another. See that? Read on. If the world hate you. You see what he's telling his disciples? If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. You see that? He said, if the world hate y'all, I'm out Israelites. First and foremost, y'all know that the world hated me before it hated you. Go mm. remember in 18, who are they following? The Christ. He's teaching them. Mm. So they're going to know the teachings of the Most High in Christ. They're going to have it. <laughs> they gonna, he prepping them right, th right now with those teachings. You call the Apostles' Doctrine, which comes from the Most High through Christ. They would suffer for teaching it and for applying the scriptures. Read on. If ye were of the world. If y'all were of the world. The world would love his own. The world would love his own. Mean the world would love you. If you were what? If they were what? Of the world. Of the world. See the world. It's called worldliness. Traditions of men. Right? Israel was worldly. You see? If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore. Therefore, I mean, this is why. The world hateth you. The world hateth you. <laughs> so is there a separation? Yes. He's telling them. Because y'all following me, I chose y'all out of the world. You be to be separate from all that worldliness. And by you being separate from the worldliness, you're going to have your own people. Especially those that know they Israel with Bibles hate you. You see? Exactly. See, so you have worldly Israelites. They will hate on the ones, the Israel that's about the Most High in Christ, about applying the scriptures. With the worldly Israelites, what are they doing? They sticking out. What's causing them to stick out? Yeah, that worldliness. So you see why there would be a separation? Worldliness brings division. 
You see? Verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. Christ tell him, remember the word, meaning the teaching I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Right, because Christ taught them that. We'll get those scriptures. scriptures. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Mm -hmm. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Why? Because they know not him that sent me. You see that? So why would the disciples, just like Christ, go through the slander, the malice, the envy, covetousness, the bitterness? <clears throat> why would the disciples and believers go through these things? Yeah, how would I? Ultimately, because they didn't know the most high. You see, they would confess, I love God. Remember Christ said, Look, out of your mouth, you, they, you, Israel right. bring the lip service. Right. All praises. <laughs> you hear Israel? Hallelujah. Hamashayak. <laughs> yah this, yah that. Oh, Heart be far away. From the Most High. So who are they really ignorant of? The God of Israel. Because if we worship in the same God, right. there wouldn't be no problems like that, right? right. Mm -hmm. So a sister told another sister. Of course, the sister ain't here. She said, the reason why you cutting up, acting like this, you serving another God. Hey, the sister, whoa, 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 whoa. what you mean? And what happened? It came out. <laughs> it was already coming out. See, so Christ is bringing it. If we're not following the Christ, the Son of God, these teachings, then who are we serving? It's not the Most High. Because the true worship is going to worship the Most High in spirit and in truth. You see? Amen. Amen. That's that's the real talk, Israel. We understand what Christ's saying. We can see things for what it is. You know what? Israel be leading all. They gotta repent. Right. We gotta keep it moving, right? right? There shouldn't be no. We bring our scriptures and we speak against the evil, but you know, and we justify and they with that that something is wrong. I mean, we're not understanding. What's happening? You see? So we to go against the evil. You understand? Would the brothers be mentioning names and all that? Do we do that all the time? No. But how will we all in here know about Cora and Dathan? How will we know about Judas Iscariot? Hymenius. You see, it's like, what Bible are we reading? The Lord told us that if we have to mark a person, right? right. So how would we mark someone and then there's no thing. There's no thing. <laughs> we got to get in these scriptures together. That's what we promote because the Lord promote the unity of the scriptures. That's why all praise that we learn together, right? So it says, uh, all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. So why did the Jews that knew they was Israelites want to kill Christ? They hated him. They kept tabernacles, right? But did they truly know the most high? It's what Christ is bringing out. 
Christ told us the Israelites in John 8, he said, if God were your father, you would love me. Then he came straight with it. You of your father, the devil. <laughs> he was a murderer from the beginning, brothers and sisters. That's right. Because he moved on who? Cain. Right? So these are some heavy words from Christ. Let's read. If I had not come and spoken unto them. Christ said, if I had not come and spoken unto them, being if he, came, he didn't come and speak the most highest doctrine unto Israel. They had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Christ said, but now they have no cloak or excuse for their sin. Why? Because he came with the Most High's word. They heard the Most High's teachings coming through them. Many of them would reject them. So who were they really rejecting? The Father. The Father. So who runs deep? <laughs> this hatred that be going out in Israel is going to the top. <laughs> That's who it will really be hating. The most high. You see? Let's read. If it says, He that hateth me hateth my father also. You see? He that hateth me hateth my father also. Got the most high and the Christ, the Son of God. But you can't say, I love Yah. But that JC, y'all, uh, that, no, you hate y'all. Mm -hmm. You, exactly. You hate the most high. That's why they don't be having an understanding of the scriptures. When the scriptures promote the Son of God all throughout the Bible. So, how are you calling yourself a non messianic Israelite? Israelite. When the word Messiah is in Daniel, right? Daniel 9. Huh? You read in the, in, in the Apocrypha, which is in the 1611 edition of the King James Version, it talk about Jesus Christ, son. <laughs> the Son of God, all in the script. The Son, the Son. Who is the Son? Scriptures say, kiss the Son, lest he be angry. Oh, that's talking about David. That's not talking about David. Psalms 22, they pierced my hands and my feet. Now, who was that talking about? It can't be David because David never had his hands pierced or his feet. David died of old age. See? So this hatred, Israel, goes to the top. He that hated me hated my father also. Read on. And I had not done among them the works which none of the man did. If I have not done among them, among Israel, the works which no other man did. They had not had sin. But now have they both seen. Both seen. And hated. Both. Both. Me and my father. You see that? Hold this. Let's go to Matthew 9. Christ spoke about the works. Because the works that Christ did was through the Father. Both. The Holy Spirit was upon Christ. See? At the Most High, Christ. For many, that's hard to see into the Trinity business. Mm. Some Israelites go to to say that also that Jesus Christ is the Father. Again, when we talk like that is because we be ignorant of the Father. But we know we Israel, right? right. Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> Leviticus 26. We Israel, okay. <laughs> we will stop with that. <laughs> we have to repent. So this is Matthew 9. 
I'm 32. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake. Right. So here, Christ casting out devils. He doing mighty works, raising the dead. Here's a brother Israelite can't speak uh, the devil on him. Christ commanded the spirit, unclean spirit, to come off of him. Powerful work. Read on. It says... <clears throat> And when the devil was cast out and the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying... And the multitudes of Israelites marveled, they blown away, saying what, brother? It was never so seen in Israel. You see what many Israelites said? We had never seen this before. What did Christ tell his disciples? If I have not what? Then works no other man is. See? That's what he said in John 15, right? If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but they have both seen, seen the works. Seen the most high work through the Christ and hated both me and my father. So let's check it. Verse 34, Matthew 9, 34. It says, but the Pharisee said. But the Pharisee said, see, it's the circumcision. Israelites that had the scriptures. Sitting in Moses' seat. Many of them, but the Pharisee said, He casteth out devils. Hold on. <laughs> Something's wrong there. They, said they acknowledging that he's doing what? Casting out devils. <laughs> he acknowledging that. Yeah, he's casting out devils. They should stop right there. They can't. <laughs> they can't. Because the hatred is blinded. He casts out devils. Look at the slander. Through the prince of the devil. Through the prince of the devils. The top devil. Who's the prince of the devil? Devils. There's different ranking spirits. Let's get it. Let's get it. We'll get it. Let's go to Matthew 12. So he does works that no other man was doing in Israel, right? And he had Israelites, made him still have something to say. And slander him. Is that hatred? Serious hatred. So Matthew 12, 22. There was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb. Now, here's an Israelite. He can't see nor talk, right? And he healed him. And so much that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. You see? So now you got a brother talking. Hebrew. Mm. And he's seeing his people clearly. <laughs> the brother was blind. Now he look at you like, "What's up, brother?" Speaking Hebrew. Mm. What would you think right there? Wait a minute. This the Christ. How's the devil go cast out devils, Israel? Wouldn't say he working against himself. Read on. And the people, and all the people were amazed. See? So when Christ would do, perform mighty miracles, works, many Israelites would be blown back. Not all. <laughs> you see? It said, and all the people were amazed and said, what? Is not this the son of David? See what Israel's saying? Wait a minute. This is, it's not this the one that Moses and the prophets said would come through the seed of David? Yeah, it is. Many of the Pharisees don't like that. Read on. But when the Pharisees heard it. See, when the Pharisees heard what Israel was saying. They said, this fellow does not cast out devils. But by Beelzebub, by Beelzebub, the prince of the devil, the prince, the top of the devils. So who is who is the uh, prince of the devils? Beelzebub. Beelzebub. That's what he was calling them in the Hebrew. Slander. Man. <laughs> you see it. So go to Matthew ten. So remember what Christ said in John 15. 
how he told him, remember what I taught y'all, the servant is not greater than his Lord or master. Christ is our Lord and master. Are we greater than him? No. No. <laughs> so we're going to get it, right? It's going to come. The hatred going to come. It is what it is. That's what Christ is preparing his disciples for. Matthew 10 and 24. The disciple is not above his master. You see? Nor the servant above his Lord. Didn't Christ teach him that again? In John 15? Because remember, he's about to die. Read on. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house bells above, how much more shall they call them of his household? You see that? So Christ was slandered, called names and all that. What do you think going to happen to Peter, James, and John? What do you think will happen to them? And many other Israelites that follow Christ. Much more. Yeah. They'd be called cowards and punks and saw. the devil. Saw all that. Evil. <laughs> Cult leaders. But yet, the ones saying it, they in that world. They'll actually attend church service, European Christianity doctrine, and they in there no and agreeing with the doctrine. Are you serious? So who is it to a follow on the cult? Mm. <laughs> See, it'd be opposite. <laughs> you see, but they flip it. That's how Satan works. You understand? So let's go back to Matthew 15, I mean, John 15, 24. So like I said, many of us in here, we witnessed the hatred, seen it, right? Heard it. That's what comes with following the Christ, the most high in the Christ. We teach against witchcraft, worldliness, the celebration of birthdays. We're talking about celebrating them. They get all into idolatry. It is idolatry and astrology, witchcraft. People get mad. And they leave and talk junk while they leave. Right? Because they want to be worldly. You see? And to try to uh, befriend those that still be in the congregation playing games. So they can get out uh, here, business, church business, be in the ear of others, planting negative seeds. See? <laughs> well, we supposed to be on guard and be shutting that stuff down. Go, we say that because some could even be family members. You know what I'm saying? Because it happens. Or you might you might work with a brother or sister that has left. And you might have to go in that building there and there. But you, there's a belief you're trying to keep the peace, man, right? Yeah. But you shut that foolishness down. <laughs> here, I'm here to work, do my eight, and I'm out the gate. <laughs> So this is John 15, 24, right? It said, if I had not done among them the works which none of the man did. So we read about a few examples of what Christ is saying. They had not had sin. Uh-huh. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. There you too. Me, the Christ, and my father. Christ always kept telling them, my father. And at time when he tell them, and your father. Right. And he taught them how to pray while he was on earth. Right. Say, pray this. 
our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. <laughs> See? So what Christ prayed to his Father, like he taught them to pray, so where will you find that at? Stay, huh? There you go. What chapter? You want it? It's a nighttime prayer to a whole chapter. What? There you go. So he's praying at night to himself. A whole chapter. He's talking to himself. Are we serious? <laughs> Wow. So let's read. And it says, John 15, 25. But this cometh to pass. But this cometh to pass, the scripture. That the word might be fulfilled. That is written in their law. That's written in the scripture, the Bible. They hated me without a cause. See that? So the scriptures promote how the Christ will be hated right. without cause. Mm. He will be blameless, but still go through the what? Persecution. Hatred. Hatred. Persecution. You see? So that's what we say. The scriptures promote the Christ. But we know he would be despised and rejected by many in Israel. Go ahead. But when the comforter is come. So what is he teaching his disciples about now? The coming of the who? Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Which is deemed the comforter. The spirit of truth. Which would be him. Right. Coming to the disciples in the form of the comforter. So you had a brother take these scriptures and say he the comforter in New York. Mm. Please. See? Uh, here we go again in Israel. Lies. That's the devil at work. So we're not to bring him out and say, hold on, this brother who called himself the comforter, that's evil. He's not the comforter. We ain't supposed to, we ain't supposed to correct that. <laughs> that's amazing. So we want to go to the cookout on the Sabbath with the comforter and don't say nothing, please. We ain't supposed to be doing a cookout on the Sabbath day. Israel doing that. <laughs> so we ought to repent. Following some man that called himself commanding general. As if, and he's the third in charge. On, are you serious? Mm. Though he's a celebrity in Israel. Then they promote the hexagram. And other demonic stuff. Such as they they come with rank, a ranking system, flattering titles, right, and a lot of devil doctrines, and they say they the home of the truth. Christ the truth. See, that's right, brother. So Christ dropping it on his disciples, right? Mm -hmm. He said. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. Whom I will send unto you, the apostles, from who? The Father. The Father. When would Christ send the comforter that proceeds from the Father to them? There y'all go. That's it. Peter actually brought it out. Because where would Christ be at? At that time in Acts chapter 2. There you go. Sitting at the right hand side of the Father. So you see how he's prophesying to them? Whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the what? Even the Spirit. Of truth. See, so the comforter, Holy Spirit, is the spirit of truth. Which proceeded from the Father. So you got the Most High, again, and the Christ. You read about that, Psalms 110 and 1, right? Mm -hmm. 
with two lords in there. One being David's Lord, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Read on. He shall testify of me. He shall what? Testify of me. He shall testify of me. So that spirit of truth, the comforter, Holy Spirit, is not an infeminate spirit. Peter and then went roll with no infeminate spirit. And then it's being brought up that an infeminate man ain't going to the kingdom. <laughs> so you got a brother in GLCC. See, wisdom is her. Look at the context. It's, the, it's just the wording. Wisdom is not a female. Right. You see? <laughs> so this spirit of truth comforter that will roll with the disciples which is the spirit of the most high in Christ will what he shall testify of me read on and ye also shall bear witness and ye all shall, shall bear witness me bear witness of me because ye have been with me from the beginning you see so he's telling them they gonna be the face but I'm gonna be with you in the form of the comfort of the spirit what was he talking about? That hatred. Because they're going to have to teach it, right? <laughs> teach what they learned from the Christ. Teach repentance. And in doing that, hatred will come towards the disciples, the believers. Because his spirit would be with them. Read on, brother. These things have I spoken unto you. So now we're at John 16 and 1, right? These things have I spoken unto you. What was he talking to them about? Hatred. Right. How they would, how they would go through hate, hate as he went through hate. Right. Being yeah. Tell them the comforter going to be with them. These things have I spoken unto you. Why? That you should not be offended. You see? So what was he doing? Preparing them, right? Oh, yeah. Right. So when the hatred come their way, they can't do what? Take it personally. You're right. It's going to happen. So you gonna, <laughs> they're going to have to go through it. Same with us. So we can't take it personally. Even though it will sound like y'all hurting, taking it person, personally. You're like, man, you see, we're not understanding. These classes wouldn't even be going out. So by the slander coming, the malice, the envies, the jealousies, Peter and them couldn't get to take it personal where they getting offended. They rolling up on cats, fighting Israelites. <laughs> right? Right. Like last time, we went over with the poem. Exactly. It's making, it's making sense. <laughs> Read on. They shall put you out of the synagogue. You see? So you have you have Peter and them, the disciples. They go in the synagogues, come with that word. And for many of them, what will happen? Christ tell them, they're going to put you out of the synagogues. <laughs> Yea, the time cometh. Yea, the what? The time cometh. The time cometh is coming your way. That's what he's telling the disciples. That whosoever killeth you. Wow. What is he telling them? Some of you going to get killed. Is he telling them? Is he breaking it down to them? Man, telling them the truth. That's heavy. Some of y'all are going to die. <laughs> you see? Because they got to teach it. They got to teach what Christ taught them. The time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Will think that he's doing God's service. Like Paul. like Paul. At one point in time, he was ignorant. Mm -hmm. He was dealing with injurious practices. Evil speak. He would, he would, he would <clears throat> come at, we're going to read about it. Come at the believers in Christ. Come at the most high in Christ teachers. You understand? To the point you have many Israelites that would think, okay, I killed this brother. 
I'm doing God's service because I'm for God. And what did Christ already say? They don't know the Father. These men, Peter and them, they speak in blasphemy. The law say a blasphemer should be put to death. <laughs> but they wouldn't be speaking blasphemy. So he telling them straight up, some of y'all going to die at the hands of your own people that know they Israel with Bibles. <laughs> Read on. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father See? nor me. See? So they don't, they could claim to know the Most High, these Israelites, but they don't know the Father nor the Son of God. See? But if we know the Most High truly and know the Christ, watch how we gel with each other. going to be about these scriptures. We're going to be hungry, willing to learn and apply the scriptures. You see? That's what he's saying. You have some Israelites be in the congregation, cutting up, and think the brother that was teaching hate them. Mm. When they way out of order. You see? And then we have an assumptions. <laughs> They don't got the facts straight. They think some of the brothers is trying to bully people. And they, come on. You see? But at home, they showing a lot of hate in the house. You understand? So, we got to repent, Israel. Read on. It says, But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of Y'all see that? I'm telling, he said, I'm telling y'all now. So when the things come about, you go through that hatred, remember what I told you. So is Christ alive today as we speak? Yep. He's sitting at the right hand side of the Father. So when we go through it, we remember, Christ said this already would happen. <laughs> this has to go down like this. We're in the last days. Right? You say, wow. And it clicked. That's why Peter told the church, count it not strange when it comes with them fiery trials to try you. We spoil it all, we're going to catch the heat. Mm. From those of our people that's worldly. You see? So read on. It says, And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. Right, presently. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you asked me, whether go or stop. Mm -hmm. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Right, because remember, he's telling them that he's going to be leaving them. Right? So he knew he was going to die, eventually uh, resurrect the third day, and eventually go back to his father. But he would be with them in the form of the comforter. He would lead them comfortless. He said, I will come unto you. So let's check it out. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Mm. It is expedient it is for necessary you for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. You see what he's telling him? Because he knows he's going back to the Father, but he has to die. And he's telling them the comforter will come to them. So... Peter and them ain't in, in New York and all this where some brother came to him. This is foolishness. Christ ain't talking about no Muhammad. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Because Peter and them didn't deal with Muhammad. So you got those our brothers and sisters in the Islam, they got to repent of that. See, because Islam is, is, is idolatry. How people going after another God. Following a, a Arab man religion. You see, I'm about some Kaaba stone. Assalamu alaikum. Salaikum salam. <laughs> We gotta repent, Israel. Christ is our head, not Mohammed mm -hmm. or Farad. You see, or Elijah, Mohammed. See. So he said, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. That's what Christ was about. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, me depart out of this world, back to the Father, I will send him, him, him unto you. Mm -hmm. Read on. And when he is come. And when he is come unto you, start with the apostles. He will reprove the world of sin. He will reprove the world, I mean, Israel of sin. And of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. You see that? So, what is one of the operations of the Holy Spirit or Comforter? It'll correct us. You see? So, when Peter then will have that Comforter with him. And be correct in Israel. For many of them in Israel will come with the hatred. <laughs> but he already prepared them for it, right? All praises. Let's go to Acts. Get the example. Acts 6. Acts 6 and 8. And Stephen. Now we're talking about Stephen, a Full. wise brother in the church, being sent by the Most High in Christ. Full of faith. Stephen was a brother full of faith. And power. And he was very, very powerful because who worked on him? Christ. The Comforter, that's right. It says, did great wonders and miracles among the people. See, just as Christ did, Stephen's doing not outside of Christ, but Christ working with him. <laughs> so he's doing powerful works among Israel. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines and Cyrenians and Alexandrians and of them of Cilicia and of Asia disputed with Stephen. So you got these Israelites here? They disputing with Stephen. Why? Because they hate Stephen. Right here we reading about what Christ said what would happen. You see? So they coming at Stephen strong. Disputing with Stephen. It says, And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. See, they were not able, these Israelites were not able to resist that wisdom that was coming out of Stephen. Because who was speaking through Stephen, using Stephen? Christ. You see? <laughs> it says, then they suborned men, which said. So they gathered men, which said, what would these men say? We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. You see? See, he's some wicked Israelites right here. We heard this brother Stephen speak evil words against who? Moses and God. And God. Is that the truth? No. <clears throat> see, they lying. See? Who's that word? The devil. Mm -hmm. So they got the spirit of Cain on them. 
Why we say the devil's on them? Because it's Satan is a liar. He's the father of lies. And they're doing the lust of their father. It says, and they stirred up the people. And these men stirred up Israel. And the elders. And the scribes. And came upon them and caught them. And brought them to the council. See, so these men caused trouble. To the point you got the elders, the scribes all involved. They grab stuff and then they bring them to the council. Read on. It says, and set up false witnesses. Now wait a minute. They did the commandment the Lord gave our nation. One would be, thou shalt not bear false witness. They said, Stephen is speaking evil of Moses and God. So how are they bringing up false witnesses? Liars. There you go. <laughs> are they really about the commandments? Sound familiar? What we talking about it earlier? Wow. But Stephen's the devil in their eyes. It's like we'll be the devil. See, all we just got to do is get in the book, and when it go down, we'll see it. Mm -hmm. Satan, I see you, devil. You at work. <laughs> we gonna read it, but we gotta get in the book. We gotta get in them scriptures together, cause these classes don't go out for naught, Israel. This is the Bible we talking about. This is God's word. <laughs> See? And set up false witnesses. What would these false witnesses say? Which said, this man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. Come on. That's amazing. This man ain't stopping. He's speaking evil words against the temple. That's what the, this holy place they talking about, the temple, because it wasn't destroyed yet. And against the law. But what they have in front of Stephen? False witnesses. So are they really for about keeping the law? Nope. It's real good at that. Be breaking the law, be angry at you, then they didn't they didn't deal with this right. See, according to the law. <laughs> You about now you know the law. <laughs> Please. Read on. It says, For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place. I mean that we heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy the temple. And shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. And shall change the customs which Moses delivered unto us. Is that the truth? No. They're lying. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the truth. How do we know it's not the truth? It's false witnesses. There you go. <laughs> See? Fine. Didn't Christ go through it? Yeah. Y'all think Stephen prepared? Yeah. We will read about it. See? So when it go down, are we ready? Read on. It says, And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Checking that out. So as they looking at Stephen, is this as if they behold the face of an angel, man. Because <laughs> wow. brother in spirit. <laughs> so let's jump down. Seventh chapter in fifty one. It says, Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always. Resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. You see that? Stephen said, You stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, 
ye always, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. Just like your fathers in ancient times, you got the same spirit they had on them who will resist the Holy Spirit. That's the wicked of Israel. They will have the same spirit on them as their forefathers in the past had because it's an ancient spirit that's on them that stems back to where? The garden. The garden came. See. Now, tell me Stephen ain't bold. That's some serious boldness. Why did he tell him, ye stiff neck and uncircumcised and hardened ears? You know why he told him that? How were they behaving? That way. Rebellious. What were they about? Bearing false witness. false witness. The law tells us the commandment said so we're not to do that. You See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't y'all ain't listening to what God have said. You're hard headed. You got uncircumcised hardened ears. Read on. It says, which of the prophets? Have not your fathers persecuted? See, Man. see what stuff he coming with it. Pick a prophet. Which of the uh, prophets have not your fathers persecuted? See how that that runs that hatred runs deep in Israel by the wicked of Israel. What did Jeremiah go through? Persecution. Persecution. Put him in the mire. You see. <laughs> Read on. It says, and they have slain them which and showed before of the coming of the just one. And they, your wicked fathers, have slain them, mm -hmm. slain the prophets which showed before of the coming of the who? Just one. So who was Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, all I'm talking Christ. about? Christ. He is the what? The just one. The just one. The Messiah. That's right. These brothers had the same spirit, man. Oh no. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah. They had the spirit of the most high rolling with them. But the wicked were persecuted. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Is that heavy? Holy Spirit that word. Of whom ye have now been the betrayers and murderers. Amen. Who did these Israelites betray and murder? Is that heavy? No. Is Stephen scared of them? Nope. No. So how's the Holy Spirit feminine? Mm. Look how he talking. He oh. bold. So again, there's a bunch of lies in Israel. Another one. See? Hold that, go to Zechariah. Did Zechariah talk about the coming of the just one? Yes, he did. Did Zechariah die at the hands of the wicked? Yeah, it's Christ brought out how the wicked of Israel slew Zechariah between the temple and the altar. <laughs> so where's Zechariah? Seven. And verse 8. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true justice. See, so the Most High used Zechariah to tell Israel how they to execute true or righteous judgment according to God's written word, commandments. And show mercy and compassions every man to his brother. You see, these are the commandments that was given to our nation. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. 
And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. And what happened? But they refused. What would Israel do during the time of Zechariah? They refused. They refused. To hearken. To hearken. You see, well, we ain't doing what God says. Dude. And see? pulled away the shoulder. And pulled away the shoulder. That's a sign of rebellion. And stuck their ears. So how would they be? The wicked of Israel be? Uh, they ain't about the commandments. <laughs> That they should not hear. That they should not hear, hear God's word, right? Because why? These Israelites here had an uncircumcised heart and ears. When it came to keeping God's commandments. You see the spirit they rolling in during the time of Zechariah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. When you're dealing with an adamant stone, that's a hard mm. stone. So Israel, the wicked of Israel was being stiff-necked. It said, yea, they made their hearts as adamant stone, lest they should hear the law. Lest they should hear what? The law. The law. And the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit. In his spirit. By the former prophets. By the former prophets. Prophets before Zechariah. Mm. Therefore came a great wrath. From the Lord of hosts. So since we will resist the Holy Spirit that was working through the prophets, what happened to our nation? Wrath came upon us. That's right. We will, we will go into captivity and the heathen will rule over us. You see? <laughs> so we went here to show just what Stephen was talking about. It's right here in the when Israel can read this history and then be talking. Yeah, we was during the time of our forefathers, we wouldn't have been in dealing with the blood of the prophets. Christ said, yeah, right. You be witnesses unto yourselves that you do the same as your fathers because they will kill him, right? Mm -hmm. Betray him and murder and have him put to death. So we back at Acts. Acts 6, Acts 7, 52. All right. Stephen's cold. It says, Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. See, so he right in the face of Israelites who betrayed Christ and put had him put to death. Who received the law by the disposition of angels. Me, y'all received the law by the disposition of angels. Me, angels mean messengers, prophets. See? Me, our people, the prophets, they was bringing the law. Didn't we read it in Zechariah? Uh -huh. But what did, what did Stephen say? And have not kept it. And have not kept what? The law. Right, they setting up false witnesses. Slandering the brother. Christ told, told Israel in John 7, he said, listen, y'all seek to kill me. He, he knew it. He's like, who seek to kill you? You have a devil. Plan. Christ, man, <laughs> y'all seeking to kill me. And y'all talking about Moses. None of you keep the, y'all not keeping the law of Moses, which is the commandments of the Father. So y'all seek to kill me. I'm paraphrasing. Read on. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. Y'all see that? When they heard these things, what Stephen said to them, what happened? They got cut. They got cut. Because they knew what he said was the truth, man. They did kill Christ. They did betray him. That way he didn't cut. Now the other group, Peter and them, was correcting through the Holy Spirit in Acts 2. Now, Peter and them were saying, y'all killed the Christ, all that. What did they say when they were cut? What shall we do? See, they different. Peter and them said, repent and be baptized, all of you, mm -hmm. in the name of Christ, meaning the power and authority of Christ for the forgiveness of sins. 
Get in that water that you may receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. These Israelites here, <laughs> different spirit. I like that. That's it. And Stephen, he going through it with him. You got that seventh chapter, brother. That man came with the history. Man. He took it back <laughs> and went in. And they still going to deal with this brother wrong. Y'all see this? What Christ talking about this here? And they were cut to the heart. Who, what's that word? The comforter. The Holy Spirit. The world is being reproved of sin because they ain't believing in the Christ. They killed the just one. And they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. You all see that? What do you mean they gnashed on him with their teeth? <laughs> you know they, they feel with anger. anger, rage. Again, sound familiar? You come across those that hate you, expose of no God, Christ, and Israel, they be pissed. <laughs> In a rage, right? We're reading it. You see? We just reading what the Bible said, right? That's in the scriptures. But what? But he. But he. Being full of the Holy Spirit. See? So who's with him? Christ. Christ in the form of the Holy Spirit. He's bold, so it can't be an infeminate spirit. The Holy Spirit can't be that. So we got to get out of these books, these <laughs> demonic books that our people be teaching from. The book of Barnabas. <laughs> well, come on, Israel. The Nazarene gospel. See, we, we got to repent. The book of Enoch, the book of Jubilees. Israel had books stacked up to here. And we stumbling at this one book. <laughs> and into this fake Hebrew, Yiddish, and the concordance. Strong G, Kumata, Kumata. See, Kumata, see that in the Greek, that means, there you go, the enemy teaching you the book. But he being full of the Holy Spirit looked up steadfastly into heaven. So he looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Yahweh standing on the right hand of God. Ooh, that's deep. He looked up in that spiritual realm open for him. He could see that was the Lord. He seen the glory of the Most High and Christ doing what? Standing. How can they possibly be the same? Israel when one is standing. Right. Two. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Christ told the disciples that he going back to the Father. We read and stepping through the privilege of the most high Christ getting to see. Christ standing at the right hand side of the Father. And said and said, Behold. I see the heavens open. So he's talking, he's telling these men this. They have that hate his guts. But who they really hate the most high Christ. So they hearing this. Behold, I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man standing. Which is the Christ. On the right hand of God. See, so who really at work? Christ is at work with Stephen. You see? Then, yeah. then they cried out with a loud voice. See, why? They don't want to hear what he got to say. They trying to over drown, uh, drown him out. Mm -hmm. They crying out with a loud voice. They ain't trying to hear what <laughs> Stephen got to say. To yeah. You see? And stop their ears. Will we read in Zechariah? Uh, see? They pissed. They pissed, brother. You could be bringing out the word when somebody hates you. They ain't trying to hear nothing, brother. They hate you. They'll cut you off in the midst of your speech. 
<laughs> you see? You say, boo, no, no, no. You walk up to, it, 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 having a spirit of variance. <laughs> it, be, it, 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 it happens, Israel. They stopped the ears. It says it ran upon them with one accord. They ran upon them with one accord. So they rushed and stepping, right? In the spirit of what? Rage, hate, malice, envy. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. You know what they do with Stephen? They stoned him, brother. Mm -hmm. And they the, hit him with rock stones. And the witnesses laid down their clothes. And the witnesses, what witnesses? False. The false witnesses lay down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. When we talking about him earlier? So at this time, Saul was what? Worldly. Right. And he was what? It's what it tell us. He was a young man. He's young at this time. He's a young brother. It says... And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord, Yahweh, receive my spirit. Mm. And he kneeled down. And he what? And he kneeled down. See, these are the last moments of Stephen, Israel. Like, right? This is it. Right. He kneeled down. He hears last words. <laughs> and cried with a loud voice, Lord, Lay not this sin to their charge. So what was he? What was Stephen telling the Most High? Forgive him. Forgive him. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? That's a high level right there. That's love, man. Mm -hmm. These men come with hate, malice, wickedness. Stephen, like, forgive him, Lord. This thing will offend one another and all that. We be done with each other. Quick, <laughs> right, right or wrong. We got to walk on eggshell around people, and if I offend this brother and sister, they ain't gonna come around. No, come on, man. Well, we supposed to be for Christ. We be ready to forgive, right? Correct, forgive. Move on. Remember, Christ was teaching his disciples about forgiveness. How was Christ when he was hurt on the cross? What did he say to the Father? Father, yeah. forgive them. They know not what they do. This is the level, Israel. This is our example. We might be a, a, offend our wife or a wife offend her, whatever. Where are you going? Work that out and, hey, you want flesh. We move on. Match up. That's it. Because in both for Christ, is 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 on. Same with siblings and all that. Us in the body of Christ. This is about that love, right? Stephen said, for, for, lay not this sin to their charge. Saul right there. Filled with rage and hate. <laughs> he on the other side. So you know he thinking a whole nother way before he come into Christ. Read on. It says, and when he had said this, he fell asleep. See, when he said this, he took a nap, right? Fell asleep, died. He died. Now, did he die grudging? Nope. No. See? He died. Yeah. Get it. See? Did he take this personal? Christ already taught them. Right. So the, the, the disciples and the believers, they would know. Mm. Is he coming back? Yeah. In the resurrection. Yeah, sure. He did his job. Mm. Christ knew what went down. The Father knew what went down. They, they showed Stephen. I'm with you. <laughs> Read on. It says, and Saul was consenting. Unto his death. See, so this ain't 
Acts 8 and 1. So was Saul at this time down with Stephen dying? He was in agreement. That's what it has told us. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church. I Meaning there was a massive persecution against the church. Which was at Jerusalem. See, the believers that were at Jerusalem, the church. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. You see? So, the brothers and sisters at Jerusalem, there's a mass persecution coming against them, right? Hatred. To the point where now, you had many brothers so they had to scatter to see the gospel get further moved out also with the persecution. So it said, except the apostles. See, I mean, the apostles still remain where? At Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. Right? But you had other believers that had to, <laughs> but they would have the gospel. So the Lord is still at work in the midst of the hatred. Go ahead. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial. And made great lamentation over him. You see that? So that's what Christ was speaking about. Whosoever killeth you would think that he do a God service. What do you think Saul thought he was doing? God service. See that? But he really didn't know the Father nor the Son. But he knew he was Israel. Very well. He knew what tribe he was from, from Benjamin. Very well. <laughs> you see? He he had to, he knew Hebrew Greek. Well. He didn't need no Strong's concordance, hmm. but he was blinded, man. He was in ignorance. You see that? So you would have the believers, devout men, men of the law. They buried Stephen, and what they made grant great lamentation over Stephen. Why? Because they loved each other. They loved Stephen. You see, whereas the other Israelites hated his guts. But they knew about the resurrection. All praises. So now let's go to 1 John. And, uh, two Oh, wait, 1 John 2.15. Sorry about that. Love not the world. See? Not of the things that are in the world. So when John letting the church hear God's words, he said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So in this context, John ain't saying we're not to love uh, the ocean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The mountains. The fish we see, the animals we die, you know. <laughs> he said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What things? What is he talking about? Let's read. If any man love the world. If any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Is that heavy? So if we're about worldliness. Then who we hate? God. There it is. We should be able to see it vividly now, right? <laughs> no man could serve two masters. So what is this worldliness? Right here. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. So these are the things we're not to be about. Living a lifestyle of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and that pride, that pride of life. It's not, none of this is of the Father. It's of Satan, right? That's why I say, but it's of the world. These are the things we're not to love. You see? Read on. It says, and the world 
passes away. So what's going on with this society, this kingdom? It's going down. It's going down. It's passing away. And the lust thereof. And the lust of the world will pass away. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. See that? So John is teaching the church about immortality. Christ's kingdom. So the believers got to be about doing the will of God. In order to get the kingdom and live forever. Little children, it is the last time. Hey, little children, it is the last days. That's what John is saying. And as he had heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists. You see that? Where so so is letting John letting it know, even when he was writing to them, did you have many Antichrists in Israel? Yes. Would you have Antichrist? In the body of Christ. Yes. In the church. Because he said, even now are there many antichrists. Whereby we know that it is the last time. Whereby, it's how people move. They act. We know that it is the last time, meaning the last days. So what would these antichrists be about? If we're catching how John is rolling with it, flowing in the chapter, and his writing... But would be about what? Fire Say it again. Fire. Yep. There you go. <laughs> That's what would make them antichrist. Wow. And guess what? Let's read. They went out from us. So what would these antichrists do? Depart. Depart from where? The church. Yeah, because he said they went out from us. Starting with the apostles. See? So when the see of Israel go is because that worldliness, that hatred, that envy, the malice, the covetousness, the grudging, the pride. They don't want to be here. They don't want to keep God's commandments. They hate the Sabbath. You see, it's going to be beaming off. They went out from us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Y'all see that? It's very clear. <laughs> Go ahead. But they went out that they might be made manifest. That they might be made manifest, mean reveal. That they were not all of us. That they were not all of us. You see that? So the Lord bring it out. And you say, wow, the man of sin. What that brother teaching with y'all? What happened? <laughs> see? Who is the man of sin? False prophets, false brothers, false sisters. Say he sitteth in the temple of God. What's the temple of God? The, the, the church. You got Israel thinking that, that, that that's the Pope that ain't the Pope see <laughs> the Lord be talking about his people Israel the wicked Israelites that come in the lying power of the devil mm. so the Lord reveals it and say wait a minute why'd you guys leave what happened to look you say, hmm, the worldliness. <laughs> and that's how they just said, Christ said, by the fruits you shall know them. So that's why we, the Lord, have us teach classes against the worldliness. That's dangerous, Israel. And we can call ourselves friends. That lasts for so long. <laughs> you see? So we got to be on guard for that. So should we be very careful who we call them friends that lead the church and all that when they showing themselves as what? Antichrist. <laughs> we got to be careful, Israel. See, 
Read on. It says, but ye have an unction. That mean an anointing. From the Holy One. Mm -hmm. And ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. That's right. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. So how we deny that Jesus is the Christ? By worldliness. He is antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Mm. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. That's right. Read on. Let that therefore... Abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. That's right, Israel. We just have to continue. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Bingo. So who would try to seduce the believers? The Antichrist, Whoa. those that leave and all that. <laughs> this be Satan at work. You see, come on our side. We're for the Lord. We're for God. Yeah, right. You're for the God of this world, which is the devil. Right. We got dogged out. We got mistreated. See? <laughs> so is that certain thing called seducing spirits they try to get with you on the side social media all type of stuff because they're just waiting but you say aha come on fight for it follow us remember Satan always at work you'll see you'll see when it can't see what brothers is evil and wicked you'll see <laughs> who were they? <laughs> Be amazing. See what we got to repent. We all supposed to move in the spirit. Well, I'm going to see what I'm looking for. We all supposed to be repenting, Israel. <laughs> so let's jump down. We'll cap it. The third chapter, 10th verse. So that's malice, right? They give some evil that happens. Exactly. Malice. You got, exactly. Exactly. See? You want to see the, your brother or sister hurt fall. and fall. fall. Exactly. First John 3 and 10. Yes, sir. In this. In this. In what? The children of God are manifest. Meaning revealed. In what? And the children of the devil. And the children of the devil. So you got the children of God, right? You got the children of the devil. Wheat, tares, right? That's all the same thing. Mm -hmm. So wicked Israelites... And those that's of the most high in Christ. So in what? Here you go. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. You see that? Whosoever doeth not righteousness. So what should we be about doing? Righteousness. The righteousness of God. Applying the scriptures. But whosoever doeth not the righteousness of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. See? Neither he that loveth not his brother. So, what are the devil children going to do? Hate. Huh? They're going to hate their brothers and sisters. They're not going to be about applying the scriptures. We've seen it. But they're going to talk, murmur, grudge, separate themselves, having not the spirit. See what we say the devil be at work. Read on. It says, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning. Meaning this is the commandment that you heard from the beginning. That you should love one another. That you should what? Love one another. You see that? Y'all think Satan wants that for us? Yeah. He don't want us to love. Right. He want us to be vindictive, slander one another. 
take right. grudge, take vengeance on one another, get it popping, quick, go to the negative dark side real quick. That's what Satan want. You see, he want that division. He want that when you see and read things the wrong way because somebody offended you or your child and now it's getting personal, it's touching you. You see everything the wrong way. They say, duh, see. He said, F me. <laughs> Twist the whole word. Yeah, I see why he or she walked the other way because they don't want to be around me. I know. I don't want to be around them either. There it is. Satan at work. What happened? What was the commandment that the Lord say? That you what? Love one another. But when I'm offended and hurt, I ain't gonna love nothing. <laughs> I can't do that. So no, I said we can't do that, right? That we should love one another. Let's check it out. Not as Cain. Not as who? Cain. See, so the church, the believer is not supposed to be like Cain. See what John taking it back to? Not as Cain. Who was of that wicked one. Who was of that wicked one. So did the devil lay with Eve and have Cain? <laughs> Cain would be a child of the devil. Huh? Because Israel, many Israelites teach that. That <laughs> Eve had sex with the devil and that's how Cain came on the earth. Is that the scriptures? No. <laughs> what it tell us in the Bible? Adam knew, Adam knew his wife, man. And bear him Cain. <laughs> so how do you get the devil? <laughs> you in them books. You start speaking like the devil. Mm. That's what them books promote. So what does it mean Cain was of that wicked one? There you go. He wasn't of God. He was of the devil. Read on. It says, and slew his brother. See what Cain did? He slew Abel. Why? And wherefore slew he him? And why did Cain slay Abel? Because his own works were evil. You see why Cain put his brother to death? He was of uh, the devil. His works was what? Evil. Evil. So he's hated. Yeah. Jealous. And what the most high tell him? Cain, why is thy continence falling? He angry. If thou do is good, well. Yeah. <laughs> See? So you check out Israel when they angry. It is time to apply scripture. We making up stuff. And see who be at work? The devil be at work. Seeking whom he ain't devour. Right? <laughs> Is when it go down, Israel. The offense come. You don't want to talk for three, four, five days a week. You ain't thinking about no Ephesians, nothing. What? I'm angry. I'm hot. <laughs> See? And we'll think it's okay justifying our silence. Right? His works was evil, Israel. And his brothers what? And his brothers righteous. His brothers' works, Abel's works was righteous. So you had one that was of the devil and one that was of God. Righteous Abel. Evil Cain. That goes back to the beginning. Verse 13, here Mar we go. Marvel not me, don't be surprised, but it's for the believers. My brethren, if the world hate you. Ain't that the topic? <laughs> Was that the topic? See? So don't be surprised when the world come with hate because the world got the spirit of Cain on them. Who we just talking about in the scriptures? Antichrist, people. Love. See, it's going to happen. We just don't want to be on that opposite side bringing the hate. Causing the problems for the teachers and the brothers and sisters. We troublemakers. Instead of about being peacemakers, we troublemakers. Mm. We want to get it started. We like to drop names, tell names, all this other stuff. Do all this stuff we ain't supposed to be doing. 
negative at everything that the church trying to move and it's ah, I got something to show you. I don't like it. Why? Because you didn't you didn't set it up. What are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> Causing problems. You see. So we got we got we gotta repent, Israel, and be for the Most High in Christ, and be on guard for the worldliness. We ain't dealing in malice and grudging, retaliating. We to love our neighbors ourselves, right? But it start with us loving the Most High with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. First, that's who we serve through the Christ, and we will love our neighbors ourselves, right? We can keep the unity of the brother and sisters in peace and through the Spirit. See that? So if we're about the word. Where we going? See, we may move or whatever, but whoever move, they still about the work. They ain't moving because they don't want to be a part of the church. They ill got ill feelings, and then how they'll move gonna be prosperous? It's not. When you look at Stephen, we read that today. Christ, top example, Joseph. Look what his brother and did to him. At the end of it, Joseph was like, man, look, this was of God. I don't have no ill feelings towards y'all. Let's keep it moving, right? He nourishing his brother out. He got the power to be like, it's on now. The Lord was with Joseph. Brother went to prison because of a lie. An adulterous woman, right? So, do the scriptures justify our wickedness, our malice? Mm -hmm. See? The scriptures say, forgive thy neighbor the what? Hurt. The hurt they have done. Mm -hmm. What is that? Ecclesiastes 28? Better not hate you. Right. In the 27th chapter, talk about how malice and wrath is in the center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? So, hopefully all praise we was edified. We'll end it there. Mm -hmm. Fellowship and the spirit do the communion. Mm -hmm. it represent us. Uh, what we, that common union. Right. In Christ. <laughs> in Christ. See? So, that's it. All praise to the most high in Christ. All right. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. Oh, man, I didn't even see that in there. I forgot about it too, brother. Well, you want to it. put it in there for me? Gonna... Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm going to move my bag closer. To you. <laughs> now I started getting started. I, I know. know. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> It's, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I appreciate that. Here, Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings. My sister Ruth Evans from the Shy. <laughs> Peace and blessings to your home, sister. Most high Christ bless my family. Brother, you care. 
He don't want to make funny faces. They say it on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on, man? What's up, Abaya? Miss T. Most high in Christ bless y'all homes. In the Houston. Houston. Israel Church. I think that's Ruben and his family. Most high in Christ bless you. Lord willing, man, try to get to the NYC. <laughs> NYC, Samakiwa, Israel. Most high in Christ bless you. Fam, brother. My man. All right. <laughs> Samakiwa, Israel. <laughs> Who said no? What are we about to do right now? There you go. And they were gonna do an anointing. The anointing? I don't know. Do you like tents? Who? Do you like tents? Oh, yeah. You have another house. It's big. It's sweet. Yeah, my brother. You got one, little brother? You got one, brother? I could do those. Yeah. 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 This is yours right here. This is Brad. Yeah, no, get out. Get out. Shut the door. Move it. Right here. Everybody's here. We're good. All right, so Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless the bread and the wine, which represents the body and blood shed, shed of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for the nation of Israel. In his name, we all pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Sign off. Hey.